بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیشن ول ٹاک اباؤٹ سمبیوٹک نائٹروجن فکسیشن وچ موسٹلی ہیپنس بائی ڈفرینٹ مائکرو آرگنزمس ناؤ دے آر سو مینی ڈفرینٹ مائکرو آرگنزمس دیٹ آر ایبل ٹو فکس نائٹروجن ادھر ایز فری لونگ سیلز اور ایز ان ایسوسیشن ود پلانٹس بٹ ان دس سیشن ول فوکس آن دوز مائکرو آرگنزمس وچ ڈو دس ایبلٹی ان ایسوسیشن ود پلانٹس دیٹس وائی دا ٹائٹل آف دا سیشن از سمبیوٹک نائٹروجن فکسیشن Now, whenever we talk about symbiotic nitrogen fixation, the classic example that comes in mind is of rhizobium bacteria and it has been much studied in this regard. Now, a point to be noted is that uh, though there are so many different microorganisms that can uh, fix nitrogen, but their uh, types and kinds are limited and uh, moreover, they need a certain sets of conditions to help them to fix the nitrogen. And... Uh, most uh, all of those microorganisms which are able to fix nitrogen are prokaryotes now uh, if we see a whole picture of nitrogen cycle uh, we can almost say that almost all living organisms directly or indirectly depend on, on microorganisms to fix nitrogen now uh, it has a complete uh, pathway the nitrogen is first converted to ammonia uh, by either free living organisms uh, microorganisms or by plants and biots that is the association of microbes with the plants uh, now uh, the condition which is the basic requirement is that uh, the environment should be oxygen free in order to fix the nitrogen and uh, there are different types of uh, uh, prokaryotes some are anaerobic uh, microorganisms and other are those organisms which are not as such anaerobic but uh, they can survive and live in anaerobic conditions as well those are mostly called as facultative anaerobes so some of the microbes prokaryotes which are uh, anaerobic prokaryotes those can uh, achieve this nitrogen fixation by themselves they can uh, achieve this process they can complete this process however the other microorganisms the prokaryotes uh, which though can convert uh, can fix nitrogen but uh, those are not obligate anaerobic uh, prokaryotes so Uh, those create such anaerobic environments for themselves in order to process uh, uh, this uh, ability and to fix the nitrogen now uh, again directly or indirectly we can say that the nitrogen is being fixed by these prokaryotes uh, and you can see here uh, though uh, prokaryotes as free living cells and free living bacteria can also fix nitrogen however much more amount of nitrogen is being fixed by the symbionts when they are associated with plants the most probable reason could be the fact that plant provides them with uh, essential nutrients and all the requirements to process uh, uh, this ability of uh, their metabolic pro uh, metabolic process to fix the nitrogen uh, moreover the plant also supplies the endophytes with different types of uh, carbolic carboxyl acids such as malate and succinate so all these nutrients all these uh, uh, requirements those are uh, needed uh, to fix the nitrogen so there are some other nutrients as well which are required for example iron sulfur and molybdenum uh, because it uh, these uh, especially molybdenum uh, it is a basic uh, constituent of the enzyme involved in the process so these nutrients are required uh the free living cells can also acquire these nutrients however uh, these are best supplied by the plants when uh, the uh, bacteria the prokaryotes are present in association with the plants so that's why much more concentration of nitrogen is being fixed by the symbionts moreover plant can also provide these symbionts with oxygen free environment uh, these symbionts again obviously are endophytes which are present inside the plant now if we talk about the analogous chemical process of fixing the nitrogen it has a great energy demand uh, but if it is done by the microbes in association with plants they have enzymes which can uh, lower this energy uh, requirement and can achieve the process much more efficiently and if we use different types of chemical fertilizers to provide nitrogen again uh, that can increase the concentration of nitrogen in the soil uh, which can cause algal blooms and so, so many other types of pollution uh so which is also not good for the environment and for the plants as well so therefore uh, uh this topic is a kind of a hot topic in research uh, that uh, we want to 
either genetically modify the already known prokaryotes which can fix nitrogen or we want to uh, explore more opportunities and more different types of species which can uh, perform this feat at much more efficient level. Another advantage of using uh, bacteria and prokaryotes to fix nitrogen is that uh, they only fix nitrogen whenever it is required. As compared to fertilizers, if we use fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, uh, they will uh, input nitrogen no matter though the nitrogen is required by the soil and the plants or not. But in case of these prokaryotes, nitrogen fixing prokaryotes, they only process this uh, ability whenever the nitrogen is required. If you talk about rhizobium, uh, which is a symbiote uh, that can fix nitrogen, it invades the plant. And uh, um, however, uh, whenever we talk about uh, different symbionts that can work in association with the plant to fix nitrogen, not every prokaryote can uh, associate with uh, any species of plant. Uh, the symbiote and the plant species relation is specific. And there are certain sets of genes which are involved in the process. Those are called as NOD node genes. These node genes are activated by the plants, by the flavonoids which are released by the plant roots. You can see here, the flavonoids are released by the plant roots and the bacteria adhere with the root hairs and then they uh, move inside the plant tissue and the bacteria infect by passing to the cell enclosed by the plant membrane and this structure then develops into a plant nodule. So uh, if you summarize the process, the bacteria invade the root uh, hairs of the plants, plant roots and then it reaches the cells of the inner cortex and then it uh, moves inside the cells and uh, find uh, this structure then actually starts becoming a nodule because uh, so many different uh, morphological, morphological changes happen in, the, uh, in these cells of the plant. There are so many different proteins which are expressed and ultimately the structure that is created is called a nodule. There are so many other enzymes uh, which are involved in the fixation of nitrogen. Uh, those are encoded by a set of genes called NIF genes, which is a completely separate topic. Uh, this was about nitrogen fixation by different symbiotes when they work in association with plants. I will see you in next lessons.